Okay, everybody, introducing my newest mink. She came from Rocky Mountain Rescue, Mink Rescue in Utah. This is probably the oldest mink I've ever tried to tame, and um, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but getting, can you see that? Getting her harness yeah. on was pretty painful. Um, I actually cried probably twice because it hurt my feelings more than anything. And uh, I'm going to take her in water for the first time. I literally have no idea how this is going to go. I also have Atlas with because I always take him to the pool. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. She's still at the point where she's not, she's not very tame. <laughs> no. I don't know what she's going to think about this. Mink are semi-aquatic animals, so they actually spend most of their lives swimming. So swimming is a very natural thing for them, so she should enjoy this. Hi! Hi, it's okay. How are you doing? Don't bite me, that hurts. That hurts. Let me put this on you. You wanna... What's this? Hello, it's water. It's water. Now you are her her safe space. Because you're the one that can get her out of the water. <laughs> Hi. That's fun, right? Oh, she's about my face. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show her that this is how she can get out. I don't know. Let's see maybe. Is that what you want? You want out? Hi! <laughs> She's not 100 percent sure about water yet. Okay, so now she knows. She knows the way out. There's a little duck there. Where are you going? Can you come back here. That's the deep Likes it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's gonna take a lot of work. Yeah. A ton of socializing. Yeah, mink are definitely probably one of the hardest animals I've ever worked with on taming. And the interesting thing about they're they're true carnivores, so they are true predators, unlike foxes, which are omnivores. So these guys are just like they're built for just killing and hunting. And um when you're trying to tame them and work with them, you have to really kind of check your emotional state because if you're fearing them or if you're even like, if you like get really upset or like, you know, start to cry, they prey on fear and they prey on like, you know, so if you're, if I'm trying to put a harness on her and I'm crying, she's gonna sense that like fear because that's the fear that animals get that they hunt. And that just will make them bite more. So it's, they're really difficult to train, and it's really difficult to like put yourself in a a calm state if they're trying to bite the crap out of you because you don't want them to get that like fear response. Okay, so I brought Scarlet to the lake for the first time. I have Atlas here. I'm going to be brave <laughs> and take them out. Scarlet has been uh, very damaging lately, and I've had some requests on. How to tame a mink, and um, well, it's not easy. <laughs> Atlas, as you see, is pretty tame. When it comes to taming a mink, I think the hardest thing is you not only have to not be scared, show that you're not scared, but you have to actually not be scared. If 
that makes sense because they can literally sense it. Okay, so usually when I'm feeling tougher, what I do is I just stick my hand in there and if she bites me, no matter how hard she bites me, I don't flinch. That, and that's like something that, that takes a lot of like self-maintaining to get used to. Hey, hey, it's okay. Atlas, I might just throw you in here with her. Come here. Okay. Chill her out for a little bit. Okay, she's calming down. Atlas is a big help. So I have to try to be very calm. Very calm. And I did it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. And it's been hard because I've been having to really like work with myself and like trying to be calm truly calm on the inside so she doesn't know that I'm scared so she knows I'm scared I get bit hard okay I caught them this fish they're very excited okay 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 look it look look Ben, how has, how has training been going with these guys? Um, one thing that I didn't mention throughout these videos is that mink are usually very solitary animals. They don't usually get along well in pairs. Even in the wild, they're very solitary and they only get together for mating. And oddly enough, these two have become best friends. I was really hesitant at first when I introduced Atlas and Scarlet, and I did it in a very safe manner while um, Atlas was in a cage and Scarlet was out of the cage just to see how they would interact through the bars. And he was pretty excited to see her. So he kind of took on this father role for Scarlet, which is also very unusual because father mink don't play a part in raising their babies. I'm trying to stay so you guys can still see them playing. So, I think this has a lot to do with the fact that they are domesticated mink. I mean, domesticated in the sense that they have been bred in captivity for so many generations. So that just kind of changes their behavior a lot from what a wild mink would be. 
and training has been going good with Scarlett given how much time I've really been able to put into it, which is not as much as I wanted because of work and travel. Um, so considering the limited time that I have put into Scarlett for harness training and taming her, she's doing really well. And I think because the fact that these two were able to bond, which is something I did not expect, I, I don't feel so pressured to have to be Scarlett's best friend because usually mink have to be kept by themselves so then I want them to have a friend which usually is me. Um, so I'm just over the moon that Atlas also has a friend especially when I go out of town because he's only super bonded to me. And uh, there's Scarlett in her indoor cage. So yeah this is one of our mink rooms. This is the space mink room and this is where they hang out a lot of the time when they're not in their outdoor pool enclosure or I'm not taking them out on outings. And I even took Scarlett and Atlas together kayaking once and sorry I did not get a video of this. Sometimes I just like to enjoy the moments instead of recording them. But yes, yeah, Scarlett's doing really well. I hope this video was a good educational video for you guys if you are interested in mink behavior or how to go about taming mink, which is very difficult. And uh, yeah. Hi Scarlett. Hey! Are you cute? How about you? Are you cute? Are you cute too? You can see she's a little bit more wary of pets, but Atlas definitely helps with the bonding. See, she's letting me scratch her. Hi! So if you're wondering where that cage is from, that cage is from Custom Cages. Also, I just wanna remind you guys, we are undergoing one of the, or definitely the biggest uh, fur farm rescue mission we have ever tried to undergo. There are 500 foxes at this fur farm that need rescued, and we are trying to raise the funds to build yards and rescue as many as we can, as many as we can afford to. So, my job is rescuing these foxes and your guys' job is just to make sure you support us by liking and following and reacting and sharing and most of all donating if you can. So if you are able to give even just a couple dollars, if everybody just gave a couple dollars, we would meet our goal and be able to successfully rescue all of these foxes while giving them a good quality of life because that is also very important. So thank you guys so much for supporting. I hope you enjoyed this Minky video for Mustelid Monday. Mink are Mustelids, by the way. <laughs>